Good evening, everybody. I'm Mary Love, and welcome back to Country Living. I'd like to welcome my new subscriber today. Thank you so much for joining my family. I appreciate that. Um, tonight, it's, it's going to be kind of leftovers from the chicken and dumplings that I made last night, but I want some cornbread fritters. Now, if you've never had cornbread fritters, all it is is just fried cornbread mix. Um, I'm going to put you down here where you can see what I'm going to put in this bowl. And I'm going to get me some cornbread fried up. Now I got some self-rising cornmeal. And this is a half a cup measuring cup. I ain't going to make a whole big bunch. But we're going to use a heaping cup of that. Or half a cup. Maybe a little bit more. About three-fourths of a cup. I got one egg. We're going to dump that in there. I'm going to pour a little bit of oil in here. Not much, but a little bit. Maybe a tablespoon or so. And this is dried milk powder. I don't have any regular milk, so we're going to mix some of this up in here. Now I'm going to mix in some water. Get those lids on there. We're going to start out with half a cup. And add more as you need it. And I can tell you, it's going to take more. Yeah, it might not. Half a cup might just be the... That looks perfect. Half a cup did the trick. Just that quick, you got some cornbread batter made up. Alrighty. Let's go over here to this stove where I can get this grease heating up in this skillet. And we're going to get this fried up. Because I'm going to heat them chicken and dumplings up here in a minute. And instead of having uh, cornbread and beans, I'm going to have some cornbread with some of that chicken and dumpling broth poured all over. Mmm, that's going to be good. All right, I got to find a spatula. I know I got one. That ain't the one I want. Aha, uh -huh. right there's the one I want. Let me grab an ice cream scoop. There it is. Use an ice cream scoop when you're frying your cornbread. You get the perfect size every time. And as soon as this heats up, we're going to get these on to frying. Whew. This is for one of them nights when you want some cornbread, but you don't want to fix a whole big batch of it in the oven. And you can just Fry you some up, because it'll fry up quick. Well, I guess I better grab a platter to put it on once it fries up. Alright, we're going to put a scoop of this in here and see if it's heated up yet. Because I think it has. Not yet. Not hot enough yet. I'm going to turn that up a little bit. It'll start to heat up. You can see it's starting to bubble around the edges of that cornbread. It's like frying pancakes. <laughs> My brother-in-law, he's, he's going on to be with the Lord now. But when he was alive, he liked to take uh, cornbread fritters like this. I'd fry them up for him. And he liked to put honey and butter on them. Just like he's eating pancakes. 
All right, we're going to let that fry for just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and get a couple more in here. All righty. We're going to let them do their thing. I may have put just a little bit too much oil in there. Grab me a spoon and dip some of that out. Didn't realize I had that much in there. I didn't pour that much. At least ways I didn't think I did. I guess I did. Whoop. Got into my cornbread. Don't do that. All right, we're going to flip this one. Just like a pancake. Look at that. Pretty golden brown. That's the way it ought to look. Let's see if I can get you up here just a little bit closer. Don't that look pretty? Yeah, they ain't quite ready yet. Woo. Hot buttered corn fritter. Mmm. That's just delicious. And a good old glass of iced tea. Cold iced tea. You betcha. See if these are ready yet. Look in there. them over there. I'm going to get another one going in this here pan. I got enough for two more. And two's almost done. It don't take these but just a couple minutes to get done. Once you get that grease hot enough to cook them. What is it? Farming pastor's wife says, if the grease is hot enough, you can cook anything. Well, I do believe that. Look at there. That one's done. That one's done. All right, we're going to get this last one in here. That's it. I'm thinking this one's probably ready to flip. Not let that one go too long. Don't want to burn them. But just this quick, you got cornbread. Can't beat it. Here in just a minute, I'll get those dumplings out and get them heated up. Because I love that broth. Oh, that's delicious. Pour that broth over these. You betcha. Turn that far down just a little bit. Let's give this one another flip. Yep, that one's done. Let this one flip it. Let it cook just a minute on this side. And cornbread's done. Now, if you've never tried these, give them a try. They're easy to make, quick. 
if you got you some some uh, brown beans to go with them and some fried potatoes, some mixed greens, shoot, I could be a happy camper on that. That's something I'm going to have to learn how to cook is fresh mixed greens. Mixed greens are a combination of turnip greens, mustard greens, and collards. I think. Turnip, mustard. Yeah, I think collards. I'm going to have to learn how to cook them. I ain't never done. All right. Cornbread is done. Woo, look at that. Let's see if we can get us a pretty picture of that cornbread. There we go. Now we're going to come back over here. And I'm going to get that dumpling, those dumplings out of the refrigerator and I'm going to heat them up. And once I get those heated up, then I'll be back and I'll show you what I do with it. But ain't that pretty. Mm. We'll be right back, so don't go anywhere. All right. I got me some cornbread in my bowl here. And I'm going to go over here and put me some of this uh, chicken and dumpling broth on it. Pour this all over with that chicken. This is like chicken gravy. Mm -mm. Now take a look at that. Let me get a better shot. There we go. Now, let me grab a spoon. Got my sweet tea. Just give it, oh, need salt. I do know that much. Close your eyes. Don't want to see me use this. Y'all probably have a heart attack. Y'all seen how much salt I eat. All right, let's give this a try. Mm. Cornbread and chicken gravy. Yummy. Mmm. Yeah, buddy. Something simple. But I sure do like it. That might be something you ain't never ate before. Never even thought about it. And if that's true, give it a try. You might like it. Mmm. <laughs> Man. Tonight's video is short. Well. When you're sick, you got to eat something. I don't want nothing heavy. Because I just soon whatever I ate stayed down. But with that, if you're new to my channel. And you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If, um, if you've ever tried cornbread fritters, give me a comment. Let me know what you thought about them. Or how you make yours if you make them. But if you're new here for the first time and you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I hope by the end of this video that you will consider doing so. And if you do, please hit that notification uh, bell, that subscription button. We don't want you to miss out on anything. But with that, I will say God bless. Good night. And until we meet again here tomorrow with something, we'll fix something. I don't know what it'll be, but we'll fix something. Good night, and God bless, and take care.